Jane, Advent calendar, part of the daily live streams, or love streams as I call them. Yesterday was a lot of fun. I lost not the will to continue completely due to a technical issue, but uh, I just restarted and rebooted and kept going. So it was good. I had a great time in the end. Today we have stencils and Oh, I've also got a stained shirt, so uh, let's jump right into it, shall we? Say hello in the chat holders when you are ready. Right, I've got lots and lots and lots of different stencils that I've created uh, over time. So I started with Artist Seller back in, oh my gosh, 20... In, oh. 2010, 2012? No, might be that far long ago actually. <gasps> anyway, it was quite a long time ago and uh, I've been doing stencils ever since uh, with different collaborations. Uh, this is the latest one, is with Creative Expressions and, well I've taken the stencil out of that one. Uh, I'll just show you a, a little quick flip of some of these latest stencils. I tend not to show the older ones just because I don't have them anymore. Like when they're not uh, in stock, it always feels a bit mean to show you things that I don't have, have anymore, although a lot of you have them, but they, they might sneak in anyway. Uh, so this is um, from the latest collection, the little fairy. Hey Susan, hey Jenny, hey Irene and Carol, oh, Jean, Christiana, or oh, Christina, sorry, what beautiful name to Julie. She gave me a unicorn, thank you. <laughs> this is the Dainty Dame. Uh, this is the Sultry Citizen. So these are from a previous um, one. Oh, I think that's actually from Stencil Girl. I love this Botticelli stencil. And I've also got another of theirs in here. This is their Frida one from the Stencil Girl. Oh, isn't this just cool? So anyway, that uh, I don't know the designers of those, but... Well, I suppose the designer of that ultimately was Botticelli, but <laughs> all the ancient Greeks, Romans and so forth. Star power stents, we used that one the other day. My little mermaid here and the scales. Oh, I might keep this little lassie out. I might take her, uh, her. this is washi tapes that I've also created that can com be combined with these. They look very cool, I'll show you. Um, can't remember her name, Bardo something. That's the other part of the Dainty Dame, it's two part. And then I've got some layered, layering ones that are faces, hairs, bodies, like this. These are very good, we might use these tomorrow. Let's, we'll just wait and see. This is Beautiful Dreamer. Uh, she, I love her, she has appeared in my books. She has appeared in <laughs> my, um, she's on the musical markers. There she is, dancing, and as a, Damp, and you could add a tutu and ballet shoes to her as well. Uh, this is the packaging. Anyway, bloody blah, blah. Oh, this is it, a version of it, just spraying through on some of the smooth operator paper. But as a little overview, but the stencils I want to use today are in fact from this. These are uh, individual stencils. Harking back to those original ones that I did, they're that same sort of scale, they were very, very, very popular. And uh, do you know what, I might, I'm gonna put them on there like that, so that they don't flap around. Incidentally, this little folder is what we send our stencils out in usually, or if we've got, you know, smaller sort of flappy things like that. And then the, just so you know, we make we like our parcels to feel like an arty party when you're opening them they're reversible so that uh, you can use them however you like i've even used them as the covers there's different ones uh, as a journal cover with the paper packs because they're the a4 size or just a bit bigger than the a4 size because what they're holding is this size of supply Anyway, but you can actually get these if you wanted the whole set. You can get them on their own. 
And we've also even got a little hot paper holder. I can't pull that. I must do that. But I have a separated one. If I pull that, if I pull it out, the whole world will disintegrate and uh, be frightening. This was that star power stencil. So I put the star power, I put lace down, then the star power stencil, then sprayed uh, Twinkle Toes ink through it because this has got a little bit of twinkle in it and then stamped out the star power stamps over the top. It's very nice. Okay, let's use these girls. I'm not sure which one. We'll, we'll see what happens. But I think, do I have... I think I have a nice example in here. If you've got questions for me, please. Hey, Sandra, how are you going? Hey, April, Irene. Oh, Bavika, how are you? Oh, it's nice to see you. Okay. And just as a shout out to Sandra, uh, she also has a uh, YouTube channel called Scraps to Beauty. If, if you, can, you can see her there in the chats um, or you can look up Scraps to Beauty. She does live streaming as well. And if you have a YouTube channel that you do art on or something related, leave it. Leave your channel name in the chats and we can go and check you out. Now, the, uh, yesterday I did also use, because the pr um, creative prompt for yesterday was the creative papers. Uh, oh, I won't be able to unfold this because now I've stuck it in. But, oh, no, no, I can do it. I just gently pry it apart. We made this uh, yesterday. We're not doing a sound check. We're not restarting today. Hopefully. <laughs> but I showed you how to make this very simple type of Japanese fold. And I put a little bit of layer cake on each of the pages so that this could dry. And it's just a very simple, quick way of making a little journal. And I just... It's, it's there ready, waiting for me. It's a good one for me to have while I'm doing something like this, having a little project, side, side chick, little side project, side chap, whoever, whatever. Uh, it's great to have something else because then if you've got to let something dry, you've got something you can pick up and force yourself just to <laughs> do something else for a minute. Now... This here started off, this journal is in a 150 year old book cover and uh, this stencil is this girl here, this is where she started. I had an art play date with my friends and uh, um, just having a quick look at questions there. I had an art play date with my friends and just was creating this. Uh, I did I or did I make this in front of you? This one I did definitely in a live stream for that's uh, involving my new art foamies. It's like the three wise men but the three wise ladies off to sprinkle myrrh and accoutrement gifts for a VIP. Just a rewriting of an ancient tale, an ancient event. Right. Here is uh, not anything to do with what we're talking about. <laughs> More art foamies though. Mm -hmm. <gasps> and art stencil stamps, we're in the same vicinity. We have the little girl skipping. This journal's so massive, I have to wiggle the pages around so you can see it. I just drew those, but I'm sure I've got, that's the stamp. That's that stamp, I love that stamp. I thought I had, um, these are the art foamies, I just love them, I love them, art foamies, but didn't I do this stencil, I think this was showing, demonstrating the new brushes, this is um, Gods and Monsters and what journal is it in then, I have a feeling it's in a big one, just let me have a quick, this is, uh, I can't quite remember. And I have about a thousand journals, so, <coughs> excuse me, who would know? I've also got out the new Skincare Magic Wands. These are the same as the original. This is the new tin. One of my regrets was that this, that when I did the tin for the Skincare Magic Wands, it has a wrapper on it, but the tin isn't decorated itself, but now it is. 
Uh, it's a little bit different to the other ones. It doesn't flip up. It's always been like this, so I just tend to do that. But in all honesty, I, I have my pencils like this in one of the cute cubes, oh, which I need to redo all of our storage because all lots of it has sold out or just like on that cusp. And being organised is very important in, in, uh, uh, to me anyway. I wonder where on earth, I have a gorgeous example to show you, but I have no idea where it is. I have just too much art. Is there a, such a thing as too much art? Probably. This girl, that is one of the stencils as well. So if you go back, so is she. Uh, if you go back in time, you will find her. Well, let's just see, treat this as a little journal work walk through. <laughs> faces, faces. Who are all these people? I don't even know. That's a stencil as well. I think I did that in a live stream too, playing around with paints. Mm, that's welcome that. Very lovely. Did I just I, I looked in this one just now? Wasn't that one? Where on earth? A mystery. A great mystery. Oh well. Ah, oh, look at these girls. Oh, this is uh, Water the Colour Library. That's the sketch size pencil. Oh, I love her. She stencil, I can't quite remember now. Journal tattoo. And sometimes the stencil, oh, that's collage. I just saw a bit of collage. That's a collaged face from the collage papers. Oh, she's so cute. That she was from a live stream. A lot of what I do. Oh, wow. I think that, was that an art foamy, just the shape, and then I completely drew her in? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, she ended up on the welcome mat box. What a fun life. See, this is why the live streams for me are just so fantastic because I end up creating just wild and woolly things and then I they go into other... If I had to sit down and create something just bam out of the box, I don't know if I would get to the same place as I do when I'm just playing with you guys, just playing around, just having fun. Oh, she's nice. She'd be a cute stamp or stencil. Oh, well. Well, I don't know where uh, what I'm looking for is in somewhere in the, <laughs> the history of time and space. I think it is in here. Or if not this one. I know where it is. Hang on. Just excuse me for one minute, just look at some things. I think it might be in one of these. Now don't forget you can paint your journal covers. Oh, and I saw Kimball uh, posted a picture of a painted journal cover of his. And I said it should be, like it needs to be an album cover. Like I know it's not... Um, Album covers aren't such a big deal anymore, but oh, I just loved album art growing up, record covers. They're just such a good size. And, uh, but it, she sort of looked like a rock star, superstar, Taylor Swift type of, you know, it was very cool. So his YouTube channel is Kimball's Corner, Kimball with a K. Ah, oh, okay. Phew, I haven't gone crazy. We've got a <laughs> success. Okay, all of that, just to show you this. These were <laughs> just where I was testing out the stencils. Playing around with ink, playing around with the new colours. And of course, the great thing about stencils is reversible. Uh, so they, I, they, the same sort of 
I put them in the same category as stamps because they're a way to kickstart your art. I mean, they're a thing in and of themselves. Look at these cute little people. What else have we got? Oh, this is the original. We had a look at that the other day. We don't need to look at that again. That is with the stencil stamped through with some ink. Okay. Come on, Jane, you've got to get this show on the road. Dilly dallying. So this was, both of these girls, that was the same stencil on both of those. I'm going to add her, I'm going to add a little bit of a face here. Because I've got her here, it'll be nice to have something here. And it, this is going to be a bit odd because I've got stitched together papers on this side. So it will be a bit strange. Am I going to use my new pencils like this? Why not? They're mine. I can do what I like. There's no need to keep them pristine for anything. Right, yeah, so I just need to pick, it might be better for my drawing, rather than going over here, it might be better if I create her here. She, and if I've got these stitches, so if I, I don't know if I really want the stitches going through her head like a lobotomy. So I just need to look at where I'm going to place things. Equally, this is um, a paint that's used for jewellery, so it's got a shiny finish, so it's not very conducive to other art materials. So I'm just, I can audition, so I can get her to fit in. In between these stitching lines, that's above. So this will be her, kind of plopped her in the middle there. Oh, she can have that bit of gold in her eye. That'll look nice. And... Uh, Everything is fabulous. Gone with the wind, fabulous. And I'm just going to pick a lighter colour and I'm going to use the pencil to go through. I could use uh, a stamp. Another uh, fun thing to do is with some waterproof ink from a stamp pad and um, a sponge. Where are we? Where are we? I have the cutest sponges on the planet. Not, not even joking. This is the um, I Heart Art sponge. It's named after my book, which is all about love hearts, but from the top, it does look a little bit like a bottom. Get some ink, like so, and you can any colour ink. Just dab that through to get a really lovely light impression. Now this will, I'll just lift this up. This will be quite light because uh, the, the background is kind of dark. So a lighter, a white ink would be actually better. But I'm just gonna come on with this. And this is waterproof, so. This is a prototype uh, ink for something I've been working on. Uh, but I might also come through with uh, supple, <coughs> sorry, divine skin which is a really dark, like an umber. Might be a bit hard to get this thicker pencil through the stencil. So I could go in with the sketcher size or uh, just one of my other pencils, just my regular magic ones. These aren't as, as thick, so for these finer lines. Or if I wanted to, I've even got this crazy little white swan pen. And this has got this long neck, which is fabulous for stencils. So I might even put this on here with a little bit of a line as well. But I might use the darker one. Oh, I'll use the Wonder Writer, because these are all waterproof, everything that I'm using. So that if I want to use watercolor or something else, over this I can. This also has a very fine tip on this a dual ended pen. So I've even gone mixed media before I've even started. Love it. And also my um, uh, Finishing line pens, pop them through. The sketcher size is terrific as well. Just anything at all. 
that gives that li those little lines so that we've got a little starting point. And hopefully I've got them all on there. It looks very like I've drawn it myself, just willy-nilly, va -di da plop, plop. All technical terms. Isn't this a nice little thing? This is where I discover if what is in the background is waterproof or water resistant, whatever. So this gives quite a nice soft white. And this will be the top of her nose, bit of highlight. Oh, and that little bit of white speckled on the chin there, perfect. I'll give her a little bit of emphasis on the highlighted parts of her body. And while I've still got this pen out, um, April asks, um, I was wondering what Jane's thought process is when deciding how a particular girl would turn out as far as facial expression, how she'll sit on the page. Well, very often the facial expression develops as the as the art develops so um, it's not a pre-decision I like the little drawing to tell me who it is and if I'm patient that will happen um, now she's got her hair tipped back I'm going to give her long flowing hair because part of the reason I love doing that is that if I've got a background like this it allows me to keep all of that background so I might go in with my divine skin again the names of these are so gorgeous. I was very happy because it's skin care. Oh, I have to turn the whole thing upside down. But the names of these pencils, there's the polishing one, which is clear, and it's used for blending and resist techniques, which we probably won't do today, but it's there. Uh, it's good for eyeballs, especially. The smoothing is white, lash line, deep shadow, cool shadow, eyeball. This beautiful light grey, because our eyeballs aren't white really, they're kind of a light grey like this. Blue shadow, lilac shadow, delicate shade, lush shadow. It just gives you hints as to where you can use these. You don't have to use them. But flush, innovated waterline, light contour, deep contour, and then we've got the different skins. Uh, porcelain, powder puff, creamy skin, soft skin, divine skin, supple skin, silky skin, glowing skin, rich skin. Who wouldn't want any of those things? <coughs> got so excited I needed to have a drink of water. Right, so it's got magic wand. Jane, registered, look at that. Mm -hmm. Re what my, 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 my things registered in uh, multiple countries. <laughs> Trademarking is a process. Right. I'm just going to lightly apply just just this because all the heavy work's kind of been done I can just play around and I can't uh, I can cover over these lines but if I put water whatever it's not going to go anywhere so I can just quietly go about my business now I don't have to stick to realistic colors as to because she's purple so with uh, the moon shining on her face do you know who she is I just realized I think it's this week if you look towards the Gemini constellation, which is Castor and Pollux, there's two stars, who are ancient Greek. Uh, were they demigods as well? Castor and Pollux, were they the Dioscori? I can't quite remember. Were they Helen and Clytemnestra's brothers? Or were they Poly... Anyway, whoever they are, there's someone. Um, Castor and Pollux, could they fly? Something, something, the Gemini twins, okay. They, um, there's a meteorite shower that peaks around, depending on where you are, I think it's like 2, uh, 2 a.m. in the morning or something. Apparently it's the best one and it happens around Christmas each year. And this year is meant to be particularly good because of the angle that we are and blah, blah, blah. So, mate, this is her. This is me looking up at the stars in the dark because the darker it is the better and I'm just I'm looking up to the heavens and hoping for peace for all mankind and uh, that everyone that looks up to the heavens uh, <sighs> finds 
prosperity, peace, joy in the new year, health, safety, love. I can manifest this, right? And look, it's amplified by a fairy right next door. So how could this not become true? Well, it could easily not. We all know the answer. But in, <laughs> in my reminiscing, why not? So I don't really want to mess with the speckles. In fact, if I wanted to emphasise that a bit, I've sprayed that with some white paint. Now I can use my snow white paint. Uh, this is Storytime ink in a mister bottle. And you could add a drop or two of flow aid if you wanted to. I don't because I forget. I don't even know where my flow aid is. It's around here somewhere. It's a Liquitex product. And uh, I can just give it another little twinkle, twinkle little star. In fact, why don't I emphasize our theme? I don't have any of these laces left, I don't think. And my laces, I get them, they're like they're the last little remnants of what not. They're from my source. And I, sometimes I get the last of them. Sometimes I can get a bit more, but um, anyway, it is what it is. And if you see one, a lace on my website that you love, just, you've got to grab it, sorry. Because um, otherwise they go, that's that. There'll be something else nice, don't worry if you miss out. But I'm going to spray through here and let's see if I can get a few little other uh, stars happening, but in a different way. Oh, I sprayed all over her face. Oh, that. Okay, if I'm quick. That I've got watercolour in the background. Okay, I'm just going to go like this and see if I can lift some of that off. So I um, did that on purpose to show you what not to do, okay? See how kind I am? Showing you not what to do? Okay. <laughs> not, not to worry for one second. Do you know, over time, what I do know is that... Um, it doesn't matter what happens and if it feels like a disaster and you, wants, you, you want to roll up on the floor and scream, which I've done, because you think you've ruined something, it's never, ever ruined. It, if you walk away, take a breath, come back later. Oh, I want that to say white, not a strawberry mark. Um, it will be fine. Everything will be fine. I remember I was teaching once in America and I was painting this lovely face and then I dropped blue ink uh, and it just dribbled all the way out, all the way down, just was a mistake. And just I just turned the paper a little bit and let it run because it, what happened, it happened. And I could hear this collective gasp of everyone in the <laughs> classroom. <gasps> and I just thought, oh, well, how can we use this? this it's what has happened. So it just, it's, it's not like it's divine providence or anything, it's just, it happens. So I'm going to use, um, I'm just putting that bit of watercolour on there just to give her a little bit of colour. And I'll need to, because I've put a bit of colour on the, face I'll need to just build that up again so look it could be a disaster um, but it's usually everything will be fine and just takes you into a different um, different realm so I'm um, do I uh, around here do you know what um, because she's in the dark, um, and I've got this gold here, and I've got my various, I've got gold um, musical marker. Ooh. Oh, and look, I hadn't put my lid back on, it's fine. Just when you put your lids back on things, 
just make sure you get that little complete closure. Click, click. Not all things click, but imagine that they do. And I'm just giving this, like I'm letting her be this outline in the gold. And you know, the same, we looked up at the stars for these meteors that are coming. Whoever has lived on the planet has been able to look up at these stars for however long we've had eyes. So it's something that connects every person. Isn't that amazing? And I was reading this article, it's just a, a theory, a hypothesis, an idea that one of the oldest stories known to mankind could be about the stars, the seven sisters. And the reason I think it might be that old, well, the person proposing this, was because the seven, there's six sisters visible now, but there were seven sisters um, viewable, say 20,000 years ago, they think. And maybe that story of the seven sisters, it's told all over the world with um, ancient cultures. It pops up, pops up, even in the um, uh, uh, stories of Indigenous Australians. And that's why they think it, 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 it's, it could be this one of the oldest tales and it's just followed humanity from wherever we developed and, and, and it's followed us around, this ancient story. But it's, it's based in the stars and it's the seven... Uh, sisters and they were chased by the story itself not that nice chased by a hunter he chased them over the edges of the earth and whoever the ruling deity whoever you believe in at the time threw them up into the star into the sky as stars so they were divine entities anyway but they were there captured so in the ancient Greek it was Orion the hunter who was chasing he was besotted with one of the seven sisters who were um, the uh, attendants, friends of uh, Artemis. And because she was a hunter goddess herself, she thought Orion was a bit, you know, was all right. So she sort of uh, couldn't really act against him, but she begged uh, Zeus to do something about it. And in the end, he got turned into a constellation as well. And... Uh, um, one of the other ruling deities felt badly, very strongly about that. And uh, she put the scorpion that killed him uh, up in the sky as well. So now the seven sisters appear and then Orion, the star thinks Orion comes along to chase them. And then Scorpio appears, the scorpion, and chases him out of the sky. And they've been doing that for eternity. That's my interpretation of that story might not be completely correct or even have pronounced the names correctly but uh, I enjoyed telling it <laughs> so what I'm doing here is just trying to uh, add a little bit of um, definition to uh, here so we can see this way but still let her have the stars and moon shiny on her face. Maybe this here should be the purple. So I'm using a little bit of Oliver Twist with a brush that's way too big. It's too big to even put in here. It's making a mess. <sighs> Is she going to change? No, she's not. She's just going to keep going. Make a mess. I could stick that down too if I was clever. So we've, we've got uh, a, a shape here of that person. I will change my brush and stop being so lazy. Just mixing a few of these blues and purples. And let's give this a little... I'm just going bam, 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 mix, just dipping my brush in every 
purple and blue available because I kind of I like the colors that are here oh and this is also ah this little square here is a weird um, spray paint that I wrote about I don't think it's available anymore wrote about for um, a magazine cost paper scissors when I used to write about art supplies okay hey Kerry how you going um, Uh, so April's going to check out the storage solutions. Yes, the grandstand. Oh, grandstand. The drawer and stores have all sold out. I think one of the mini cube, the cute cubes has gone. I will redo the storage at some point. Um, just, uh, there's just so many things to do. <laughs> and everything's, of course, been designed by me for me. So you know that it works because I'm a highly organised you know how annoyed I get, you've seen me. When I can't find something, I nearly go bonkers. Bonkers. Um, I'm going to just re, this is dry now, because I sprayed a little bit of white uh, over the face. Um, I just need to re-instigate the main, the key lines. But isn't it fabulous how art triggers those thoughts, those memories? So, you know, here I am thinking about ancient Greece, which, you know, any day where I get to do that, <laughs> it's a good day. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. I'm giving her a smile because, well, this is me. It's a version of me. Yes, just by emphasising some of those lines. Let's give her some eyes too. I think... Um, Tippy toes. That's me, so let's give her green eyes. A version of me. Going out to look at the meteor, meteor shower. <gasps> Do you know what's on my bucket list, if you want to call it that? Um, the Northern Lights. Oh my gosh. Instagram knows that I love them, so it keeps showing me them like. People. I think it must have been a very good year for them recently. Hope that doesn't mean anything bad. Like the Triffids are coming or something. Starlight shining on her face. And also, you know, when it, you, I say something's me, it doesn't have to look like me. It just, it's like a dream, you know, you just know who the people are. They don't have to actually be you, you just sort of know. Uh, like I had this dream where po popcorn went missing, but he looked like a Jack Russell, but it was popcorn. And... Uh, I was freaking out, freaking out, and then Moo appeared. Oh, who's my little, she's passed away, my little terrier, and that she was jumping around, everyone else could see her. And I knew it was a dream, so I just calmed down in my, uh, in my, like within the dream, like it was so. And then I was just like, wow, it's Moo, and I just enjoyed Moo running around being naughty, like she was when she was a puppy. Oh, it was actually turned out to be quite nice. <laughs> I self-soothed with... Uh, but my point being, it, things don't have to be exact to be... to be a surrealist. Oh, I don't like that line. It's too straight. What am I going to do about that? <sighs> I think it'll be... 
now. Sometimes you can add water like a magic brush, like a magic... Oh, look, it did work. Oh, because I've got enough acrylic under there now. See? It's worth trying anyway. What it might disturb is the watercolour underneath. That's what I was just thinking then. But that, that line was too straight, so let's get in some other golds. So I've got a couple of different golds, but I could also put in some other metallics. I've got my tippy toes as well. Might even give it a dark purple. fun and the stencil I mean I, I didn't I've got a bit of a shortened time today and the stencil just made it all come together quite uh, quickly and effortlessly look and I've even got some goddesses down here from the art foamies and her some muses on her little chest across her little chest Isn't that fun? And I've got a little bit of watercolour in there just to add to a little bit of shading, just so she's got some uh, shading, but really she's got the Milky Way and some little extra stars just shining down on her face. Now, speaking of faces, here's mine. Oh, there's me have a look at questions. Oh. Sandra's off to Iceland next week, you lucky thing. Ah, yes, happy accidents, definitely. Um, I, I always say have this concept of trust the mess. Like let the process, let, let's just let it happen. Happy little accidents always makes me think of a little kid doing a happy little accident in their pants for some reason. <laughs> I'm tidying up as I talk to you. So I didn't really get to use my pencils that much, but it was nice to start off with. We'll do them tomorrow. Um, but yes, have you, if you've got any questions for me, please, now's the time. Um, April is asking about the musical markers. Any paint pen, horizontal, in fact, any pen, if you want pens to last forever, horizontal. It just helps the ink spread out equally and it doesn't block or get stuck at either end. Um, I have got paint pens, uh, watercolour pens, alcohol markers, all sorts of pens that I've had uh, for a long time since I started as a commercial illustrator when I was uh, 18 years old and uh, I still have some of them and they're still working. I don't, they're, they're retired, like I don't, I'm not using them all the time because the ink would get used up, but they're still functioning is what I'm trying to say. So store horizontally proofs in the pudding. Um, so yes, store horizontally. Um, there are some things that I'm using all the time like um, the tippy toes, I store uh, sometimes on their heads, sometimes on here, but I'm, I'm moving them around and using them all a lot. They're in frequent use. These paint pens are fine being stored up on their heads, I think. Um, what ca could happen is if you could have a leak eventually. Um, and it hasn't happened yet, so... Maybe, probably it won't. So, 
Um, this is all good. So this is the paint over pens in the beach collection. And this is that little booklet that I made the other day. And um, I'm just going to add a little bit of colour. Now I'm getting a bit of build up from the layer cake there. So I'm just going to clean that off before I put it away. Because I've put it on quite thickly and quickly, but it's fine. I just have to, just before I put my pen away, just make sure I've just cleaned any other pen off it. Just so that when I go to use it next time, I don't have, you know, a great big purple smear in amongst somewhere where I don't really want it. This is just a nice little way of uh, having a, a little extra distraction. Mm. Completely distracted too. I love drawing faces, but I don't know who they are. One day I'll meet them all on my cosmic journeys through the universe. I'll, I'll meet all these people. I'll be like, oh, wow. That's who you are. That's who I've been drawing you. Okay, I've got to go. That is uh, Max for sawbacks. So tomorrow, what have we got? Oh, Halcyon Day stamps. Yay. We've got lots of choices there. I'll see you. And uh, yes, we want everything. Um, yeah, there's things you can do if you're having problems with pens that have stopped working, especially paint pens. Put them back on their heads for a bit. They just need to re-moisturise uh, and a bit of um, dip in water, recap, leave them on their heads so that that can um, rework and then you'll have to shake them, get them all happening. But yes, um, store horizontally. Uh, most pens store horizontally is the best way and water fixes most things with art supplies. It really does. It's a wonderful uh, invention. <laughs> okay, my friends. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Next live stream.